So I want to encourage you as you start to pray with the Word of God about the importance of God's Word. I remember when I was being mentored, my mentor took me to a passage. He was a little concerned about the way I prayed. He wanted to broaden the way I, I saw my own time of prayer. At the time, I was doing a lot of devotional reading, praying the rosary or using different rote prayers, Liturgy of the Hours, as my main way of prayer. And he took me to Dave Verbum, which is one of the documents from Vatican II on God's Word. And he took me to this paragraph, paragraph 21, and it says this, The Church has always venerated the divine scriptures, just as she venerates the body of the Lord. Let me read that for you again. Just This is a powerful and important passage. The church has always venerated the divine scriptures just as she venerates the body of the Lord. Basically, the, what, what this is saying is the, the body of the Lord, the Eucharist, the church venerates the Eucharist just as much as we should be venerating the scriptures. Or to reverse it, we should venerate the scriptures just as much as we venerate the body of the Lord. At the time, this was a huge shift in thinking for me. And it, it changed the way I, I perceived the importance of God's word. John 1.1 1, 1 says this, In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. Right? It just is this connection of Jesus being the Word. Jesus is his body. He is one with it. He is The Word is him. He is the Word. So when we go to the scriptures, we are meeting him in his Word. This isn't some separate thing that's simply about him. He is also there. He is also present in that Word. So when you dive into your prayer and you dive into the scriptures, there is something so much more that is happening here in this Word. This isn't some dead word. It's very much alive. It is him. And he is coming in his word because he wants to speak to you. And so often we say, God is silent. I don't hear him saying anything. But that's so silly. He is, says so much to, to us in his word. So I want to encourage you as you come to God's word and you come to your prayer time that you ask the Lord to open your ear and open your eyes to really hear his word, hear him speaking through his word, because that's what he wants to do. He doesn't want to be distant. He wants to be so close to you. He doesn't want to be some elusive being. He wants to be so in your life, and he wants to use his word to speak into the situations of your life. <music>